Hello and welcome to this comprehensive Pandas tutorial series. This series is going to be completely hands-on code along lectures on real world datasets. Now hands-on code along mean that I will be showing you practical demonstration of the codes and I will be coding along with you and not just show you uh, pre-written codes and just execute them one by one in front of you. The real world datasets would allow you to, uh, to understand the nitty gritties and the powerfulness of the pandas library and will further encourage you to find more meaningful patterns and, uh, and manipulate and wrangle the, the data on your own. Now, just so that we are on the same page, I would like to ask you that which of the following pandas do you wish to learn here? Is it the python pandas on the left or the hungry pandas on the right? Now if you chose the hungry pandas then I'm sorry to break it to you that I am no biology expert and you are on the wrong video. If you however chose the pandas on the left then you are in for a treat. So what exactly is pandas? Python pandas is a python package providing fast, flexible and expressive data structures designed to make working with relational or labeled data both easy and intuitive. In simple words, it is basically a world class tool to perform data manipulations, data wrangling and do basic data exploration. Now, a thing to understand here is that a sound understanding of pandas will go a long way in helping you when you eventually learn machine learning, deep learning, etc. So to learn pandas from the ground up, you would need the following tools in your arsenal. First and foremost, an appetite for data. Data can come in various forms. It can be one of the most well-structured data in the world or it can be one of the most messiest ones around with many unstructured rows, columns, unwanted values, missing values, etc. Now, also you would need a basic understanding of Python. However, if you do not know Python yet, proficiency in any programming language would suffice. In short, you, would, you should know a basic programming language so that you are not uh, in no man's land when we talk about various things in the following few lectures. Now you would also need a python environment to work in and I would prefer that you use a Jupyter notebook that comes with an anaconda distribution. Now, anaconda distribution is basically a big software that, com that includes all the uh, libraries pre-installed for example the uh, pandas, numpy, scipy, matplotlib etc. So that would make your life a lot easier so that you would not have to install all the modules and everything else. You can also use pycharm or uh, atom or sublime text or, or any text editor uh, but I would prefer that you use a Jupyter notebook. Now. Practicing what you learn is so important that I had to mention it three times. If you do not practice what you learn here, you would never really understand what is going on. So you would need to practice, practice, practice. Now also to learn pandas, you would also not need to do the following things. First of all, be lazy. Secondly, showcase your talent of watching coding lectures without practicing it. If you just watch coding lectures and say to yourself that okay I am learning pandas, I, I understand what is going on in the lectures, I can memorize everything then I am sorry to, to break it to you that you are wrong. If you do not practice what, what, what we will be coding in the next lectures then you, are make, you will be making a big mistake. Okay. Now, other thing is suppressing your doubts. If you do not understand something then please ask me in the comment section below or ask your friends or use Google, use Stack Overflow. The, there is a big community of people using pandas so you can always refer to uh, Stack Overflow to solve your query and probably the query that has been bugging you has been solved by some person 6, 7 or 8 years ago. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Don't suppress your doubts. And last one is intermittent learning. So don't do this thing where you learn half an hour today and then miss out the lectures and then basically do not study for the next three days and then come back for again half an hour. 
so be punctual be continuous in your learning so that you do not forget what you learned yesterday and the learning curve continues okay so i think we are good to go